Um, I was staying at a Hotel Riviera, probably not the best hotel in the world, but I'm on a budget, so please don't judge. But it was opposite the Proton Therapy Center. Have you seen that? The futuristic on North Terrace? I want whatever disease makes that. No, <laughs> that seems terrible, but it's so beautiful. The architecture is stunning. But there's so much beautiful things. You've got festivals, writers' festival, fringe. Um, you've got it all. It really is, and it's and I've actually got nice people here, which is I've got yeah. cousins here and friends. Like it is properly a nice place, and every, you know, I've, you actually meet people are prepared to talk to you, even though you look like this. So. <laughs> I love Adelaide, like it's amazing. Um, but I, I do shows here, I was doing an early show, light show, but you've also got Hindley Street. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like the street that evolution forgot. <laughs> so I, I finish here like often at about 11, sometimes 12, and I walk down Hindley Street to go to my hotel, and it's like primordial slime, just <laughs> flowing through. And I tell you, it's, it's pretty disappointing. And like the youth of today, they just go out there and, and what they wear is just so embarrassing. <laughs> like, <laughs> vulgar. You can see everything. <laughs> Underwear on show. Oh my God, it just makes me sick. <laughs> I'm just, I am appalled at what your young people do. I thought so much, you Adelaide. But, um, but then it struck me. It struck me that I'm being a bit judgy. Who am I to judge Hindley Street? And why, why, why am I so much better? than some of these young people. And I'm, I feel that I am being a bit of a dick about this. And gee, when you think about it, there's some pretty impressive people who've taught us about judgment. And this is real. Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, Gandhi, they all said, please don't judge people by how they look. Please don't judge. People are people and they all deserve to be treated well. So, can you believe I'm using Martin Luther King to justify going to a nightclub at 2am in Highland Street, but I fucking am. <laughs> I walked into this nightclub called Mother's Little Helper. My heart was pounding, people. But full of courage was I, and determined, because I had a dream, people. No, <laughs> I was shading there somewhat. No, no, but I, no, no, I wanted, I wanted to meet some beautiful people, but also to, to hear their words. And, and so I was in Hindley Street and I saw this amazing girl, she was here for a conference, we had a bit of a chat and something special in Hindley Street. Love having people. Now I tell you, I'm a slightly unique individual, people. And when I get aroused, strange things happen. <laughs> like really strange things happen. And, um, and I got aroused. And it was like an inferno. And I, the eyes met and I was I'd have a brief chat, a little bit of dancing, and I just got so aroused. I tell you, when I do, one thing generally happens. I stand up slowly. And then, I run to a toilet cubicle, <laughs> and then I grasp my hand deep into that velvety cavern that is my pocket. <laughs> I grasp that hard, tight. Byron. And I write some rhyming couplets. <laughs> so if it's okay, I actually met a very beautiful person in Highway Street. And I wrote a poem in a toilet. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. Okay, it's called Highway Street Princess. Okay. Across the Highway Street dance floor. 
did our eyes furtively meet. And your spiky hair bobbing like a founding member of Bronsky Beat. That reference is a bit old. <laughs> your eyes, you have two. And they're perfectly symmetrical. <laughs> your retina well positioned, your eye sockets perfectly elliptical. <laughs> your beautiful brown iris is the model of perfection, your cornea delicately curved to promote maximum <laughs> refraction. <laughs> I shouldn't need the microphone, so it's going to use it afterwards. Your radiant smile lights up the dance floor with your enamel levels clearly very high. Your incandescent smile, a model of good flossing and oral hygiene enough to make a grown man cry. Your hips sway to the beat with your pelvic alignments exquisite. You glide across the D floor with the confidence of a recently successful hip replacement recipient. <laughs> Can I just stop there for a second and say it's really hard to make hip replacement recipient rhyme and time with... That's the proudest moment of my comedy life. So I don't care what you think. I'm loving that rhyme. Yeah, once again, excessive. Um, your endocrinal glands pump with each more frantic dance move and with each beat you secrete water and through evaporation excess heat is removed. <laughs> Clearly very functional people. Your odour is strong. A mixture of sodium, potassium and trace levels of zinc, iron and chromium. Just how I like it. My jaw drops as you master the robot, the sprinkler head, and a sticky Hindley Street dance floor electric worm. <laughs> My kind of girl. My heart pounds with each worm like pulse. And our mutual attraction confirmed. Thank you for, you for indulging me. Because my passion knows no bounds. <laughs>